Welcome back to Hickory Flat Farms. I'm David. Going to do a bit of pasture work today. Got to get out, well, really bee work, but that's just the beginning of it. The rest of it, we're going to be getting ready for pumpkins in the fall. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a little video of the tractor doing some work there, and you can see what the, the old school 641 Ford can do. The workmasters have been a workmaster. I'll show you what I got in the truck. There's the bee box, all the gear, bee suit, and all the different accompanying pieces of parts. Got my little brush out. I got the bee tool up front. I'm going to inspect and do quite a bit of work today, so I'm going to set this on the side of the hive. Kind of goes on like that on the side and hooks on, and you can set the frames off. So I'm going to do an inspection and a reorganization. I'm going to use what's called a checkerboard method. The checkerboard method for getting this hive to be uh, this super, honey super, to get filled up, you take out every other one. So imagine this one and that one and that one and that one all the way across, and they're just empty frames. So I'm trying to get the bees to build them up. So I take some of the built up ones from the one that would be below, put a good one up here, leave an empty one below, put a good one up here. Uh, so go, go down the line and it's alternating. So if this one's empty, the one below it will be full. If this one's full, the one below it will be empty. And they call it checkerboarding because it's kind of like alternating spaces like a checkerboard. And uh, a gentleman in Tennessee uh, on uh, Duck River, uh, Duck River uh, Honey, uh, on YouTube, actually, nice channel. Guys making making efforts to uh, do a lot more than we are. That's for sure. We've got two hives. He's got a place. He's trying to actually turn it into something where you can make money. I'm just trying to turn it into where we can have some honey and maybe share some with friends and family and maybe sell some of it. Who knows? But uh, going to try this out on the tripod again today. I've got it on the remote camera. The remote camera seems to be working okay. We'll give it a shot. Hopefully I won't run out of battery. Be right back. Today's the day. I'm going to see if they built anything in the upper section here. It appears they are not building up here. Not much. Pull this first frame out. Brought the frame rack today. Not that I really need it. Nothing. This one has a little bit. Not much, man. That hive, uh, over here hadn't really built much in this is a honey super believe it or not and that's how much it's got going on i'm gonna set the smoker up here where i can get to it i really didn't need this rack for this part so this this part of the inspection is going to be super easy it appears that there's very little work been done here there's some honey right there, and some there. I'm going to move that to the outside. Let's see if they'll build out there instead. Anything that's got stuff built on it, I guess I should move to the outside. This one has the least bit of honey. Capped. Move that to the outside. Empty frames. Let's look at that one. A little bit, a little bit. They're putting nectar in, but there's not much. There's empty ones all the way to the end here, it looks like. So, empty on the outside here. I'll put this one over there. We're kind of, this is June, man, end of June. We should have something, but it's just not happening like it should. So, the super is going to move over and I'm going to take the frame rack off and I'll put it on the next frame. Do a little more smoking. A lot of pollen coming in, that's for sure. They're really, I mean, outside here, they're coming in and there's plenty of pollen. It's not a really windy day, but there's some wind. 
but it's hot. I'm not worried about chilling brood today. Let's see if I can get this apart. Yep, yeah, got it. All right, just gonna set this off. I'm not gonna set it on the ground. I'll set it on the rack. So this, if you haven't seen one before, is a queen excluder. This whole thing here. There's a couple different theories on excluders, and excluders can be a real problem. Uh, some people say. I don't know. My experience so far has been that uh, the bees haven't been coming up much in this hive. I'm going to clean the propolis, this sticky glue stuff they put in here. But the center part is always a challenge. And it sticks. Pretty Okay, got that. Got this. We're going to smoke down in the feet. There in the bottom. This hive inspection portion will be a little bit different. Trying to smoke them down a little bit. Looks like we've got a pretty good amount of bees in here. They're just not coming up for whatever reason. You set the separator over here. Good frame rack right here. Right like that. Okay. So this is where I, I've got two different tools, and I, I'll show you in here. So I use this for knocking them off the off the uh, frame structures when I'm putting them back together, and to take them off so I can inspect. But this tool has a J on, kind of a. It's a difference between this one. And this one. This one. Knock my smoker over there. <laughs> well, it's working. Look at that. Get on down in there. I'm going to go right to left and I'm going to put them into the frame to the outside. Um, but this is, this is a J tool and that's just a plain tool. This one's, but they both have a thing to hang them and people have stuff on their racks sometimes to hang them on while they're working. I just wear bib overalls so I stick them in the pocket. To get these to move, I usually just get in between the frames, try not to get to the bees, All right? Move them around a little bit. And sometimes that first one is a bit more difficult to get than the other. So they're building. And there's honey. There's some bee bread. But this side's empty, so I'm going to turn that to the inside probably. I'm just going to put it out here on the rack right now. Make sure it sits there and doesn't fall. And we're going to... Woo! One second on my butt. Oh, that sucks. You got me, dude. First time that I got got like that. No, well, that one wasn't happy. This one's plenty heavy. A lot of nectar on that side. A lot of nectar on this, so that's going to move to the outside. It's not quite full and capped, but it's got quite a bit of stuff on it. A little smoke on. They're getting less than happy with me, that's for sure. You can kind of see down in here. And generally, I don't clean off the the excess wax and comb on the top. If they're not building somewhere else, I'm going to give them the opportunity to build somewhere other than here. And I'll just set that on the other. Because this is not the spot. And this has a tendency to stick to the, the queen excluder. So we want to take this thing open without damaging the bees and causing a bunch of trauma to the best we can. They're just coming up pretty regular here. Alright. Yeah, they're animated. 
definitely hear it. This one's a lot heavier. There's a little. At this point, I started to realize that uh, we're having failure from the queen here. Uh, looking at the frames, no cap brood really to speak of. There's a small amount, so uh, maybe we had a swarm. I don't know, we're missing a queen. That frame had a few bees on it, but uh, nothing like I had previously. There was a huge population in this hive, and they're not here. There's some, but not like it was, and we are missing. Look at that. There's just a few spots here and there, and there's a big, giant, open circle that doesn't have a lot in it. So, um, didn't see what we needed to see here, so it was decision-making time. Do we feel like the queen's doing the job? Maybe she left, couldn't find her, had to make a decision. My decision is get a new queen today. So that's what I did. I went and got another queen and um, I'll, I'll show you a picture of it. Hang on. I bought this queen at Peter Zook's. His son, uh, his brother John makes them. So I decided that that was the way to go. And uh, I, I went on and continued the inspection here. You can look through with me. But look at this next frame. It's just ridiculous. Just not good. So there's few bees, but nothing in contrast to what the, the previous level of population in this hive was probably, well, that frame would have been full. All of these frames were basically full of bees. Not like they were. So we've had an event. Don't know what it was because I was gone to Canada. Uh, we had a family uh, emergency we had to go and uh, attend. And this is the other hive. This is what good brood looks like. And uh, bee population. So that frame, pretty good bee population. And the top was five frames almost full and capped of honey. So that's the huge difference. These bees are much happier and uh, they were nowhere near as aggressive, just not. I, I barely had to smoke these bees. This hive inspection, as I went along, just was making me happier and happier and happier, and I was hoping for the same result in both. But I wound up, uh, well, you'll see in this frame, you can look at what we've got in that set of hive, uh, hive combs there. Look, boom, bees all over. Lots and lots of cat brood. In good shape. We look really good here. This hive is just a night and day difference. So this is kind of a good example of what's good and what's bad. And uh, can't deal with the bad and leave it bad. So uh, making decisions. I may not be making the best one. And I guess I should have reached out to someone. But I feel, you know, a little bit like that I can make a decision based upon what I see. And if I can't see a queen and I don't see brood, I need a new queen. I mean, there's a logical thought progression there that just, <laughs> if you need brood, you have to have a queen. If there's no queen visible and uh, you're diminished brood and they're barely uh, making what they need to survive, it's time to uh, make some changes. So I made changes today. I'm gonna give that until Friday, maybe Saturday. I may do a live video for that. We'll just see it together, maybe. We'll see. I'll put it out if I do, and I'll put it in the uh, in the channel, and uh, we'll stick it up there. If not, well, you'll see the video. I'm going to uh, get this one produced, get it put up. Uh, and it's Monday. This is actually a couple days later, so hopefully good things are happening. But, yeah, look at all that brood. Got the honey on around it there and a little rainbow. Just great, great pattern. And it's, it continues on through this hive, so I can't be happier here, and I can't be more disappointed on the other, unless they were all gone. <laughs> I guess I'd be even more disappointed, which, no, that's not the case, thank goodness. I'm giving them the opportunity, and uh, no good deed goes unpunished, I guess. I, I uh, did what I could do for them, and I made sure that they had feed and were able to do, so this... Uh, I move that to the outside over there because it's uh, pretty close to full. 
and uh, most all of these are though and that is uh, one that came with the nuke you can see the lighter color wood in the frames there that's what I put in but you can see that they're pretty much full and I'm trying to avoid smashing bees here so put it on and turning it at least has the opportunity to push them off you just set it on they'll uh, likely get smashed but if you turn it they tend to might push them off that's my theory so that's those uh, two honey supers are checkerboarded and uh, pretty much top to bottom left to right in good shape so this hive uh, the blue hive is going to be the blue label one is going to be a little bit uh, productive this year. We might have some honey that we can put out and get. We'll see.